the settings change, of course. Over there, we were in this really safe environment and being like a bunch of kids coming together and being very playful and be able to do all the things we like to do and have fun with it. And uh, I understand that. So th it was a different settings. But down deep inside, the magic is within yourself. And it doesn't matter where you go. And wherever you are, once you just come back here inside yourself, it reveals itself to you. It shows itself to you. So um, it's the nature of the mind to associate it that the magic was in that place and now it's there and I don't have it anymore. That's the nature of the mind. And uh, it's a part of the fact that we do create that energy field like Ore, that particular retreat we create that and we come to it and it's such a high vibrational event and it brings us so far up but the idea of it the whole thing is to realize that whatever you're experiencing in this high vibrational place with with the all of these beautiful people is really going to lead you back inside to where the source of this high energy coming from. Where is the source of it? And, and the source of it is yourself. The entire thing, first we need to go to a place like that to recognize such a freedom that all of a sudden you can be so free and not just physically free, but also free your mind and come in touch with your own spirit come in touch with your own being and the child within you because the entire experience forces you to be here and now and that's why we have so much fun together because we come to this place of pure presence of being here just one moment, I'm waiting for this plane to pass by. There's a small airport uh, in this area. So in the mornings, there's a bunch of planes flying over. So anyway, um, yeah, the, the experience of Ore is an other experience other representation on the other world that you come to that energy field that unified field of oneness and love for it to reflect it back to you that it's really within yourself and and that's my main goal for everyone to recognize that that when when we leave Ore in Sweden, it, we just didn't leave it. It's not over. The mind would, would want to say, oh, okay, I left this place and now I'm not going to feel blissed out because I'm here. I'm not in this place anymore. And I, I lost it because I'm not there. You, you understand what I'm saying? It's the nature of the mind to say that this freedom this bliss this love that i experienced was associated with the location but that's not it with the right teaching when the teaching is correct and it forces you to look within yourself you begin to realize if you look that you never left that love and that blessing and that feeling that that state recognition of that state you did not leave it there it's coming with you it came with you in the train it comes with you in the plane it comes with you back home um and wherever you go it's with you it's always there <laughs> Yeah, if you pay attention, if you pay attention, 
you will see it's there. Now, of course, we travel and then we come back home. You could be very tired. It's going to take time for the body to recover. Uh, there's going to be ups and downs. There's going to be dips. And the intensity of it may be lower, but the actual, um, the essence cannot be lost. It's not gone. That's why we spend time alone by ourselves and we keep quiet. Because the moment you do that, it, it, reappears you tap back into it and you recognize your own self you recognize who you really are the expanded part of you the part of you when there's no mind and you're quiet and you're here and it's completely it, you tap into the infinite and it's complete and it's full and it has nothing to do with a location. That's the beauty of it. Hi, Marie and Geltek. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Yeah, nice yeah. seeing you. Nice seeing you too. Yeah. Yeah. Are you back in Stockholm? Yeah. I'm okay. back. Uh, and I'm working. Right. Yeah. But I took the bliss with me from what I have. Say that again. I took the bliss with me. So I got it here. So I feel like I'm in what I have now. Beautiful. I'm happy to hear that. Thank you. Yeah. I'm happy to hear that. I have a good teacher, you know. <laughs> yeah. Let me see. Uh Shishi, can you un um unmute Hilda please? Evans that Hello Miss Hilda. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Oh, it's going wonderful, actually. It's like someone has switched uh, a magic button after order because I see the colors so bright and they're so strong. And you know, when you look at the nature, I just see the energy when the straws are moving and everything. So I'm living in a fairy tale. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that. So something has changed in the quality of your vision. Yeah, and I got uh, visions as well, you know. I've been doing some healing work and stuff, and some, suddenly I just uh, got the pictures in my head, you know, what is going on and everything. Right. So it's good. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just sitting there and, okay. I'm, mid, uh, I'm in my life and it looks like this and I feel so blessed, you know, so, yeah. yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad, <laughs> I'm glad you were able to make it, my dear sister. So, no, thank you. Yeah. 